Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to make this oil spill paint can cake with an oil spill effect on the inside as well. This is also a collaboration with these wonderful channels. Octoboo will show you guys how to make a Pikachu pencil case. Nova Thorn will do a DIY Bluetooth EOS speaker. Roar is going to show you guys how to do DIY watercolor painting techniques. Suzuya is going to do DIY invisible color change markers. Peanut Bread is going to show you guys how to do some cheap room decor. And So Craftastic is going to show you guys how to make Pokemon school supplies. So be sure to check out their channels. I will leave all the links in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to them as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make this oil spill paint can cake. To get started, I have some vanilla cake batter and I turned my vanilla cake batter into a coconut cake batter by just replacing half of the milk quantity with some cream of coconut. So it's basically kind of like a coconut infused vanilla cake batter. And what I'm going to do is divide this into four separate bowls and I'm dyeing the batter into four different colors. The colors that I have are Kelly Green, Violet, Buttercup Yellow, and Rose. Here I have four 6 inch round cake pans which I've lined with parchment paper. I'm going to add each of my batters one at a time, spreading them throughout the pan. And then using either a toothpick or a skewer, I'm going to swirl the batters together and this is going to give it a beautiful oil spilled look. I bake the cakes off at 350 degrees until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Once the cakes are completely cooled, it's time to level off the muffin top that they have. I'm going to turn two of my cakes over and I'm going to trim off that caramelized bottom part off of two of them since this is going to be a layered cake. We want the two middle pieces to not have this caramelized edge on the bottom. So I'm just trimming that off of two of the pieces. So when you stack them, the two trimmed pieces are in the center and the ones with the ends are the bottom and top of the cake. To start assembling the cake, I have a 6 inch round cake board and I'm going to add a little bit of buttercream to that. I am using a delicious coconut buttercream, which is just my Italian meringue buttercream with some cream of coconut inside. And I'm going to add some to the cake board just so that our first cake layer sticks onto the cake board and doesn't slide around. Before I continue the assembly process, I'm going to drizzle my cakes with simple syrup and this just helps keep the cakes really nice and moist. Now I'll continue stacking the cakes by adding the delicious coconut buttercream in between the layers, stacking the cake on top, adding some more coconut buttercream, adding the other cake on top until I reach the top. Then I begin the crumb coat process covering the entire cake in some of the buttercream. I refrigerate it and let it chill and I give it a second coat of buttercream. That just helps give it a nice smooth finish. While my cake is setting in the fridge, I'm going to roll out some white fondant and I'm going to roll out a strip that is at least 20 inches in width and I need it to be 5 inches tall. And I'm just going to measure it one more time to make sure that I have enough fondant to wrap around the entire cake. I'm going to use my small rolling pin and I'm going to roll the fondant onto the rolling pin and unroll it around the cake. I use my fondant smoother to smooth the fondant around the cake and then here where the fondant overlaps I use my X-Acto knife to trim off the excess fondant and create a nice I also trim off the excess fondant around the bottom of the cake. Then I trim off the excess fondant on the top of the cake to give a nice smooth top. And once again using my fondant smoother I smooth everything out. Here I have some very dark gray. It's kind of black but not really. It's a shade lighter than black. 
It's really dark gray fondant and I'm just rolling out a thin tube and this is going to be the trim for the bottom of the paint can. Now to create the oil spill fondant, I have the same beautiful colors that I use for the cake batters. I have that in fondant. I have the yellow, the black, purple, green, and pink. And what I'm going to do is I am going to divide this into smaller tubes and I'm going to create basically like strips of tubes and place them side by side. It doesn't have to be a specific pattern. Then I'm going to roll the fondant out a few times, I'm going to flip it over, I'm going to give it a few twists here and there until the colors kind of blend and until it's like a darker color but you can still see the colorful colors throughout. Once I got the fondant to the point where I'm satisfied with the way it looks, I am going to grab a 6 inch round circle and I'm going to trace that over the fondant and this is going to fit perfectly on top of the paint can. Now I'm going to create another tube border for the very top perimeter of the paint can. Using the leftover fondant, I am going to create these little kind of drip patterns and this is going to be the paint that's going to be dripping on the sides of the can. So I'm going to go ahead and add the strips of dripping fondant that I just made and I'm going to add these randomly. I'm, I'm going to add this really big one where I want the front of the cake to be. Now I just added another layer of the oil spill fondant on top and the reason why I did this was to cover up the drips that we made and I'm just going to blend these together using the end of my X-Acto knife. I just kind of carved the two fondants together and they blend in perfectly. Now I'm going to add my cake onto an 8 inch cake board and this is just a little bigger than the 6 inch cake and the reason why I'm adding it onto a cake board that's a little bigger is because I want to add some oil spill fondant around the bottom of the paint can to make it look like it's spilling around the cake. To make the paint can lid, I have a 6 inch round cake board which I've covered with buttercream and the reason why I've done that is just so that the fondant has something to stick to. So I go ahead and add that same dark gray color fondant onto the cake board. I turn it over and trim off the excess fondant and there goes our lid. To add a little more detail to it, I'm using the lid of a jar that's a little smaller than the cake board and I'm just going to press it in so that it leaves a nice indentation and then I'm going to follow the outside line of the circle and I'm going to create an outer circle and that's going to create that same ring effect that the metal paint can lids have. Here I have a metal colored tube that is going to be the handle of the paint can and I'm going to let this hang in the front of the can. So I'm going to use toothpicks to secure these to the sides and then I'm going to add these little metal looking bolts on the sides. To finish off the cake I'm adding the lid on top at an angle to the side of the cake. And the oil spill paint can cake is complete. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this cake open for you guys so you guys can see the beautiful oil spill effect on the inside as well. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely gorgeous. The colors are just so beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and also remember this was part of a collab so please check out these wonderful channels. The links are down below in the description box.